back to um, the collaborative approach, which is something that you know I think we all in PETAE are really uh, passionate about. Um, I think you know when when you start looking about some of your challenges, or if you are at the board, I mean, let's say you are at the board of management and you need to make a decision, I think you will probably start questioning whether that decision is the right one and whether you need to bring your head of innovation to sort of challenging you, or you need to bring your partner in the innovation partner to kind of challenge the board. Why are you thinking in the same sort of business as usual as you were in the past? So the tools will be developed, um, you know, um, during this, this period of adaptation. I mean, obviously, we in Beta E we are developing some, basically, um, you know, faster ones that can respond to quicker to, to some of the challenges that organizations are having, but also to start prompting the question of why, you know, if you are, if you, if I'm a large company that is highly dependent on um, my supply chain or my, um, you know, sort of the selling points around the country that probably are not digitalized and therefore I cannot bring my product to the final consumer because I do not have a B2C, um, you know, sort of business model. How am I going to do this? I mean, how am I going to actually support my, my ecosystem to actually be able to, um, you know, to sell what I'm producing in my industry? And I think that if we can create, and we in Betty, we are creating programs that can bring together, you know, uh, all companies that need to develop uh, links and better solutions for their uh, supply chain members that will support the company itself. Uh, so I'll give you an example. I mean, in Brazil, we, I mean, obviously the small businesses are suffering a lot. Uh, and one thing is a large company that obviously can uh, have a good cash flow that can, um, you know, support this crisis. But small businesses, they don't have. I mean, they obviously have, um, you know, their cash flow for what, seven days or something. And therefore, you know, they probably will disappear in one week or two weeks. So the, the large companies that are dependent on these selling points need to support them in some way. And, and we thought about that as a matter of principle, uh, um, and we developed a program called Varejo 20.0, or 20.0, which exactly allows large companies that have this um, chain, value chain dependent to sell their products to support those smaller businesses. And that is the innov collaborative innovation, and that is the way that large companies can really support um, you know, other companies that are part of their value chain. And I think to me, that's the way to do it. I mean, we see examples nowadays in Brazil, Magazine Juiza doing, doing the marketplace, exactly because they are seeing the opportunity to bring other small businesses in, supporting them, you know, in a sort of solidarity approach, but also reinforcing their own business. Or you see, um, you know, Ambev together with the uh, Einstein Group and others, building an hospital. I mean, in one month, they built an hospital. So yeah. they worked together very quickly and they did something together. They innovate together. And then I think that sort of open mind in a highly competitive world uh, is quite challenging to change, but COVID has probably done that. And I think we need to surf this wave and, and really make sure that we show the benefits of collaborative innovation, of collaboration as a whole, because I think it's by that way that we'll be able to survive is really, um, you know, quite, um, you know, radical crisis, yeah. I guess.